Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. In this match against Velez, I have the Spanish against Jacobite Scots. Uh, that list is largely based on impact foot warriors armed with musket and sword, but no pikes. Velez is a match host and should be deploying down here. Unfortunately for me, that means that he's got the cover of rough ground, a hill, and what looks to be a large stream to hide behind, which means I can't just spam all the cavalry in the world and hope for best. Instead, I'll have to get infantry ready for a firefight and cavalry to cross here into open terrain. So, 500 points to use, musketeers with bayonet, probably not a bad idea, that firepower to get early disruptions. Veterans, hmm, spendy, spendy. or just regular old pike and shot. I'm gonna get to veterans, even though I normally don't, and then spend the rest on pike and shot units. Unless I want musketeers to force units out of rough ground and forest. Let's drop a unit of veterans to grab two units of detached musketeers. Okay, let's see his deployment. Oh wait, <laughs> let's see our own deployment first, maybe. It's probably a good first step. Uh, yeah, let's get our guns where they have a field of fire. Our detached musketeers where we can do some aggressive maneuvering in support of a cavalry advance on our right wing. Just so. Okay, next up. Hmm, well, more. Let's have the veterans all maneuvering. Maybe five units of horse, very good. Musketeers. Do we have raw pike and shot at all? Can't recall. No, we don't. It's probably for the best. One unit of foot in reserve, three units of horse on this open wing. And in fact, let's grab a unit of veterans in case he brings his veterans along. Horse in reserve, and in reserve. Now, oh, interesting. I wonder which way he'll go with that. Well, let's, I uh, can't shoot when he moves because we just deployed, right. And that's plenty of room to charge if he moves up. Shift over, shift over. You get in line and have this horse try to stretch out over there. And let's see if he comes across or stays on his side. Next turn. Looks like I'm going to be forced to stretch my line. Which is too bad, I really wanted to keep some cavalry in the center. Let's... maybe we can keep this one unit anyway. I was hoping for an instant disruption. Next turn.
Okay, well, we were too slow to seize this hill, so we're gonna have to fall back a bit. Held firm on the cohesion. Let's try again. Nope. So we fall back. Fall back. This unit can push here and then turn, so it can start snaking its way behind. We fall back. Okay, then what? One pike and shot unit, not a big deal. Good, so if he moves here, we can simply charge immediately with our veteran horse. And detached musketeers can just keep inching forward. I'll turn. Well, I suppose it's more important that we shoot the Highlanders and try to shoot up their skirmishers. So that's all. Next turn. That unit is in charge range, so we need to try to disrupt well any of the units that move along this line, really. And shift our cavalry over in response. Well, get you out of the way. And in the meantime, fire and prepare to charge. Nothing serious there, really. One disruption. We hold firm. Kind of wish I pulled these back and shoved the cavalry forward, but too late. Fine. You absorb some bullets, turn these guns, and threaten the charge. Good. Maybe this horse should hmm, shift over to the wing or try to help out when holes get punched in the line in the center. Those are the two choices. Ah, screw the wing. Next turn. All comes down to the impact charge. Do we hold? <laughs> Not at all.
stream does hinder us a bit. There's a large stream, so if disorder is mounted, we might need to withdraw out of range. Well, first off, we charge here. And let's fire. 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 There's our disruption. Good. And prepare to try to roll that line up. Okay, then what? Let's sit here, and this is a delaying force, really, at this point. Yeah, that's fine. Our horse here, and then ready to charge out. And why don't we? There's a frag. That could be rather nice. Why don't we? Ooh, I kind of want to charge here and see if that drops then. But it also might just muck up our padding. Hold firm. Oh, he did leave that exposed by mistake. Well, we're going to take full advantage. Good. Let's see where that takes us. In the meantime, withdraw. Withdraw. Okay, let's see if we can just try to roll up this pocket before the rest of the army gets involved. Next turn. Another impact charge, will we hold it? And another... We held it. <clears throat> it was a good charge, even though we, they were already disrupted. No breaks. Okay. Too bad. Almost tempted to do that. But we should do that. Damn. Well, that's fine. Let's crash into them anyway. Okay, then what? Good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Kind of tempted to just shuffle around out of charge range, but I don't think that would do. So we will move here, accept the impact charge, but also lurk over here. I think that's out of charge range. <laughs> I hope. Maybe it's not. I might have just made a mistake. Well, if I did, it's not terrible. You just clip off one cavalry unit. Onward. Next turn. There's our roll up. Perfect. Ouch. No, locked out. And again, we locked out. This unit's going to disrupt, yep. Oh. Nice, he's going to either take out the guns or roll my cavalry. Ooh. Ooh. Well, um, I guess we've got to do that and hope. Nope. Okay, things could get dangerous with this wildly pursuing unit of Highlanders and. Huh. Well, damn, that blocks me from preventing that flank charge. So instead, what I have to do is lock them in with my infantry. Start turning the guns that way. Prepare for a charge and fire. Good. Suppose we want to get out of the way then, and then prepare for a charge. Okay, and Ugh. Charge, and we have to cover the flank, I suppose. So that's what we'll do. That again, right? A large stream. Good. 
Good. Uh, don't know what to do with these veterans. Just move that way, I guess. Well, that was unnecessary, but it worked out. All right, that's looking suspiciously like a complete victory. And got that GG. Although, maybe there's one more turn? 38%, so unless there's a pursuit that does it, we are going to have to play out another turn. Let's see. Oh, the entire Jacobite Center is in flight. It's got one unit left in the area. Veterans, they probably won't disrupt. Oh, that horse did disrupt, though. Hmm. Okay, we bounce that. And... We didn't break, although we might break in the melee phase. <laughs> Alright, so I told him GG, but uh, we're not actually done here. It's a bit presumptuous of me. <clears throat> okay, well let's break this frag to get piking shot. And charge it again. Impact is even, but in melee we have the armor advantage of 50 POA. And here, let's go for the flank. And we'll do it again. Very good. Um, right, catch them before they cause any more havoc. Hmm. If we could get this unit to disrupt. There we go. That should enable us to charge. Perfect. And because our horse are disordered, they do get swordsman POA and overlappers for larger unit size, but they're fragged, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, we could either charge the Highlanders or charge the horse. But the horse are no threat, so we'll just charge the Highlanders. Okay, who's left? Um, let's not get out of hand. We want to stay orderly here. Uh, there's no harm in that, though. Oh, fine. Push on. Hardly matters at this point. We stopped in the perfect spot anyway. Okay, so that should be final position. Okay, and we have actually reached the end.
There we go. So, this is always going to be a tough map for the Scots, and I'm having a pretty hard time the mirror match. That being said, I think there were two other options open to Villas, although they still might not have been able to stave off defeat. Defending this hill with the rough, maybe hanging back a little bit so I would have to cross over to the low ground to get into range. Although I probably would have just swung out this way to the open first, but still, it's fairly defensible. There's a big stream in front. Could be done. Otherwise, attacking anyway, but uh, in this match, he came into the center and I was able to wrap both flanks. I would say hitting both flanks first and leaving the center in reserve and then pushing the center in once there was chaos. Now, the downside to that would have been it would have enabled me to take this hill after all, but I think that might have been worth waiting and at least staving off envelopment. But on such a nice flat overall open map, I don't know if this was doable for the Scottish army, to be honest. So we'll see how the mirror match goes. A good game to Velez, as always, and till next time.